What's up guys, welcome to my Python programming Q&A tutorial and today's topic is how to install multiple version of Python on a single machine or your personal computer. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, before going into the tutorial, let me explain the existing framework. I have Python 3.5 already installed on my machine. So let's go to command prompt and I will show you the current version of Python. So okay, let me clear the screen first. Now I will show you current version of Python. Python version is the command. Now over here you can see I have Python 3.5 already installed. Now in order to execute uh, my script inside this Python 3.5 framework, what I have to do is first I have to enter into the Python terminal, which I can uh, simply type Python and I can get into the terminal of Python 3.5. Over here, let's type a simple print statement which is hello python all right it's worked perfectly now in python 2.7 as you know the brackets are not available at that point of time so if i try to execute the statement like print sorry like let's say print python over here and hit enter it will give me an error which called missing parenthesis is called to print which means this statement, the print statement is not allowed in Python 3.5 without bracket, but it is allowed in Python 3.7. And I will show you once we have installed Python 2.7 on my machine, how can how we can execute Python without the bracket and we can get the result now. So to install it, let's get exit from here, exit from the command prompt as well, and go to the Python official website, which is python.org. I provided the link in the description. Please go uh, with the link over there. Now uh, you can go directly to the download menu and now over here you can see the windows option. You just click the windows option over here and it will directly redirect you to this download page which is Python release for windows and this is a windows operating system so I am going with the windows. Now latest Python 2 release over here since I have already installed Python 3.5 I am I'm going to install Python 2.7 now. So let's click it. Now it will also show, show you multiple files like uh, operating system over here. So Mac OS, we don't need that. Uh, over here, 64 MSI installer, this is what we want. So we will click this and it starts downloading over here. It is a 19.3 MB file, so it's going to take some while. But all right. Uh, yeah, it seems internet is pretty fast. So now it is downloaded. Let's go to the folder. Over here, I have this folder already. Uh, in the download section, I have this Python uh, ins uh, downloaded over here. Now let's double click it and install it. So, oh, it's asking for my password. So don't worry, this is not for you. It is uh, some configuration on my system which have already been installed. In case if I install or uninstall anything, so it asks for me a password. Uh, okay, so over here, there is an option called install for all users or install for me but I will go with install for all users. Now hit next. Uh, over here, it is by default, it will install inside C, Python 27 folder, but you can configure it. So uh, I, I'm going to configure it where I want to install it. Let's say I'm going to desktop. I have this uh, already this folder. I don't want this. Let me create a new folder for it. So I will create a new folder called, uh, okay. Over here option called Python. Seven. All right. I'll get inside this folder now. Once I'll start to start execute. Okay, I have to copy the path as well. I have to paste the path. Hit next. It will ask you. Are you sure you want to override the file? Hit yes. Now hit next again. Next, and it will it will start downloading your files. And you can see your files is now getting unzipped from the software of Python 2.7. Now, uh, it's going to take few seconds to complete and uh, once we have it ready, this is the first step what we're going to do in installing Python 2.7 and I will uh, explain you the next steps moving forward. Uh, so, it is still downloading. Alright, so we have finished this. Uh, it finished and we have successfully installed Python 2.7. However, we cannot use Python 2.7 still because the second step is to configure environment variable. Yes. 
So for configuring environment variable, what we will do, we go to control panel and we have to type at once. Sorry, at once. Oh my god. Once. All right, yeah, this time I'm correct. Advanced, click on view advanced system settings. Again, it is asking for a password. Don't worry, it is not for you. It is just only for my system. And I'll hit enter. Okay, so now you can see an option called environment variable. You have to click on environment variable. You have to click on path and you have to click on edit. Uh, you can see multiple, uh, I have a lot of uh, configuration already involved in the environment variable, but don't worry about that. We don't need, uh, you don't need that to install. You only need to copy this path. And remember uh, why you are copying this path because python.exe is already here. So that's why when you type python in a co command prompt and you get inside the terminal, this is what python.exe is being called. So you have to copy this path and you have to paste this path inside a uh, environment variable. So what you have to click new and then you have to paste it. Also remember, not only this path, you have to also copy the path to script folders. So go ahead and copy this path as well. And click new, paste it over here and click OK, OK and OK again. All right, so environment variable has been configured now and now we are all set to execute Python 2.7 on our system. So let's go to command prompt and let's create the screen. Over here, if I type Python, Wait a minute, now still I'm getting 3.5. How do I get 2.7 version to work on that? I mean, uh, every time I write Python, it automatically picks 3.5. And that is because in a, in a, it directly, when you type Python in a command form, it directly goes to your environment variable and it will check sequ sequentially that which Python dependent, Python.exe is present. Uh, so Python 3.5 was earlier installed on my system and it directly find the python.exe in 3.5 instead of 2.7 which i have already installed just few minutes back now in order to execute python 2.7 what we have to do we have to do this trick what just go to python.exe inside python 27 folder uh, hit f2 it will rename it and let's just rename it to python 27 and that's it now what we have to do is instead of typing python we will type python 2.7 so let's go ahead let's get exit from here and type python 27 and hit enter and over here you can see we are now into python 2.7 terminal similarly let me open a different command prompt so that i can show you the difference uh, over here oh, okay sorry let me clear the screen first all right let me adjust the window so that we can compare what's going on and uh, yeah let me get Exit the screen. Yes. All right. Now, uh, over here, if we type Python, hit enter. We are in Python 3.5. Over here, if we type Python 27, hit enter. Now we are in Python 2.7.5. If I write Python print within quotes, what we have discussed just a few minutes back, it will show an error in Python 3.5, which is called parenthesis is missing. But in Python 2.7, if I write same script, same print statement, sorry. So it will, let's see what it's, so it runs perfectly. Now, this means that this statement is supported in Python 2.7. However, this is not in Python 3.5. And you can see parallelly, I can execute my scripts in Python 2.5 and Python 2.7. Now, this is what about what we have, we are writing the Python script inside the Python terminal. But what about if I have a separate script and I want to execute it? So I will show, uh, quickly show, quickly show you. Sorry, <laughs> I will quickly show you how we can do that as well. So let me go to Sublime, and I will create a very small script. Let's print hello Python, and let me save it onto desktop. Let me name, create a folder called test. And it will be Python 35.py. All right. So we have done this. And now I will create a second script, which is for Python 27. And I will save it in this same folder, 
Alright. So my both this uh, both this script is ready. Python 3.5 and Python 2.7. I will go to my command prompt, both the command prompts, and first I will exit from here, and I will exit from here to clear the screen. Clear the screen. Now um, I have to go, first I have to go to the folder where my script are present. So okay, all right. Sorry. Yeah. Let me go to. Okay, so now we are uh, inside that folder. I have to go inside test and I have to go inside test as well. Alright, directory. Yeah, I have it. I have it here as well. Now, uh, once I want to execute Python 3.5, what I will do is like I will write Python space test. Oh, sorry, it's P. 27 no we want 35 because this is we we are simply writing python we are not writing python 27 so it's python 3.5 compiler and we will hit enter and here you go you can see this script executing fine however now let's try to execute this script in python 2.7 so over here what we will write we will write python 27 space p 27.py and hit enter and it worked perfectly fine so this is how you can execute a different version of python scripts into a single machine you can also install multiple version of python so remember uh, every time you install a different version of python what you have to do first step you have to install in a specific directory second step you have to change the python.exe name third step you have to configure the environment variable and the fourth step you have to design your script accordingly and the fifth step would be uh, to execute something in the command prompt window you have to type you have to type the uh, similar compiler i mean for example like if i have to execute in python 3.5 i will write python however if i have to execute in python 2.7 i will write python 27 so this is the this is basically you are defining in which compiler uh, you are basically you want to execute your code using which compiler so basically compiling the set of rules which runs down on your uh, script and it will execute according to the rules mentioned in the, inside the compiler. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, that's it for today. And thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting program, Python programming solutions. Thank you.